Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon from Singapore. I'm Matthew Hardman, the G-Shock watcher, and uh, let's go visit Bai and have a look at some of these watches and see if there's any good deals we can go ahead and actually look at. Uh, I'm changing the camera this time around. I'm actually using the MacBook with an iPhone as a camera and the microphone. Hopefully the audio picks up. We'll try and fix it up post editing. I can't sort of put my cameras, I put my watch, my glasses, watches, glasses, you know, those cocktails are good. Kind of has a blue screen reflection, but I may need to use those glasses. I have my cocktail, my Cherry Cosmopolitan that will help us get through these watches. Let's go and have a look and you know what? Let's start off at the big expensive watch from the last video. Um, so if we go over and have a look here, the genuine Casio G-Shock Black Black, zero bid so far for $95 million. I'm telling you right now, if you get $95 million for that watch, well, you won't even need to buy a lottery ticket at that point. You can just basically retire to $95 million, but that's, uh, that's insane. That is a crazy, crazy price for a watch, which I really can't understand what would be so fantastic about it. If we go back down, those MRGs we talked about last time are still there, $14,000, $12,000. I really like this watch. This is, like I'd like to get a Frogman. Uh, I think a Frogman is kind of cool. It's one of the ones I don't have. I would love to own this particular one. This, uh, this yellow one. This one's limited edition, 700 pieces. You can see it's $11,000 sing. Now we are ranked highest to lowest. So the prices are pretty expensive. Two days remaining, $11,000. I'm pretty sure if I accidentally hit the buyout price, I would be in a lot of trouble. Uh, let's have a look. How many people are, how many people are selling? Actually, there's a few here. So 11,000. There's another one here for 9,000. So that's a significant drop in price. 9,000, box and everything. Looks pretty good. Zero bits though. Buy recommended. Okay. I mean, look at this thing. This thing is just, looks terrible picture with the, the plastic on it, but it's a very cool watch, unused. 9,000, 9,000. And if we go down further, 8,000, 8,000, okay. And then we've got the normal MRG Frogman at 7,000. I reckon if you were going to go ahead and actually buy a Frogman at $7,000 and you had the money to spend, I would almost be tempted to go ahead and say, look, you know what? I'm going to spend that much money, I'm going to spend a bit more and get myself the limited edition one. I just think there's limited edition one, the yellows on the gold are, are really, really cool. Um, I thought this one was actually nice as well. I saw this come out. This also has that, similar to the Bruce Lee watch we sort of saw with the, this is I think the tiger on it um, and then the uh, inscribing on it. This is an MRG, very, very nice, uh, nice watch, but again, that's a lot of money, $9,000 for a, uh, a watch. Um, so you'd really want to be into it, that's for sure, for that that uh, that sort of a price. This one's interesting, the G-Shock Kabasara. I haven't seen the G-Shock Kabasara before. Uh, that's interesting. What if we have a look at the, let's have a look at Shock Base. What was it? Kabasara. 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 No. Does G Central say anything about it? Kabasara. Maybe they have something. No. Interesting. I don't know what this Kabasara actually is. Um, okay, well, at least we have a model here. Let's have a look. MRG, 400 pieces. Okay. Ah, there we go. This one is going for $10,000 C. Well, at least it has an alarm on it. 
that's obviously important. You need to have an alarm on your watch. $10,000 sing, and the current bid is sitting at around about $9,000. I mean, it's a interesting looking watch. It's got the green tones on it. It's unique. Kind of nice. Worn once, belt adjustment only at store. I'm sure a lot of this actually is historical, but I don't read Japanese, and I wish I did. My daughter's learning it, but I don't actually know it too much. But there's obviously some incredible history behind this watch, but pretty much out of our uh, our price range. Let's let's go back and have a look at the uh, the whoops. Let's go back and have a look at the new auctions that are coming through. So let's have a look at time newly listed and see if there's anything interesting here. Oh, and straight away, Master of G Frogman. I say, this is a really, really nice watch. 761, so compare this watch to what we saw before. This is a $761 watch. Uh, you can buy the current price is 761 versus those other ones which are you know ten twelve thousand uh, dollars look I guess if you can get the limited edition great but this is a really nice watch this is a proper diver watch you can see down here there's the other one and this is the uh, the standard uh, G-Shock Master of C I think it's a really cool watch. I'd like to be able to go ahead and actually pick up one, but probably not right now. Um, we've got another Frogman, so a bit of a variance on it, a little bit different color. This one's $5,000, so fairly expensive. Titanium. All right, let's have a look at, let's just have a look. I'm, I'm curious to sort of see what these actually go for. So this is the Frogman. Let's have a look, Control C. And we'll check this out on shock base. So 594,000 yen. 594,000 yen to Singapore. Nope. 594,000 yen to Singapore. It's about five and a half thousand dollars. Yeah, I mean, that's close to, I guess, what the price is actually meant to be. So, I mean, if you're going to go ahead and actually buy it, you're better off buying it brand new from a, a, a site. Like, if we went to look for this at the Casio site. Right, let's have a look here. Control. And there it is six and a half so I mean you could if you could get it at that price you might be saving a thousand dollars which is nothing to be shirked at thousand dollars is a lot of money um, as long as that watch actually really does look good it's unused I'm guessing it's a good purchase from that point of view um, so yeah five and a half but this one here this this normal sort of frogman I still think it looks kind of cool right so if we take just a straightforward frogman. If you want a watch which looks really cool, let's have a look. That would be this one here. Uh, 1200 maybe, 1200 sing. They're looking at about 700, saving $500. That's not, not terrible, right? That's actually a pretty decent price to be able to go ahead and actually purchase a nice looking watch like the frogman. Um, tough solar, all those different things. So that's actually. Uh, that's actually pretty good. Let's go back and have a look at what else we actually have here uh, that we can go shopping for. Because obviously we're looking for like the sweet, sweet deals. This is kind of nice, the winter premium special reprint model. It's got that red and green, kind of very elfy colors. Um, what does that typically go for? I can't imagine it would go for much more than $200 to be honest. Um, not being mean, but you know, it's okay, $159. Alright, and it's kind of going for 95, zero bids. 
I think you could probably do a little bit better uh, on that one. Uh, this one? Yeah. I don't like these overlays. The theme is Musical Night Tokyo. It's a collaboration watch, $104. Okay, interesting. Let's go back. I kind of want to pick up another sort of digital face watch, uh, something like this, only because I'd like to do another mod. I think that was kind of fun to do the mod. These are good. I like these Mud Masters. Mud Masters are cool. So this is a Mud Master 523. Uh, that's okay. Um, actually, this is interesting. I missed that one. Casio G-Shock Metal Bezel Camo. That's probably an aftermarket one, don't know what I thought. Uh, yeah. I don't know if that is original. Like, if I were to go ahead and do a search on this and have a look at Shock Base in this one. <laughs> Can't even find it. Let's take out the SCM. No. What is that watch? Let's have a look here. GM. Okay. Uh, we want GM 5600. Okay. Now we're talking. And it says SCM. Let's try it in SCM. Okay, so you can sort of see the difference here, right? This is a... They've replaced the band. I have a feeling they've replaced the face. Uh, maybe the face looks the same. How much was it? Sing, sing, sing. $300 sing. And the price right now, $120. Yeah. If you really wanted one, I guess it's kind of cool. A um, couple more. G-Shocks in red. Interesting. Uh, let's go through and have a look. Another one, G-Shock in metal. I do like the square face with the G-Shock in metal. Maybe we have to hunt one of those down at some point. Cassie Oak. Custom G-Shock. So I'm guessing they've actually taken a aftermarket uh, cover and put that on there from Aliexpress and don't get me wrong they're not bad they're just I don't know if you'd pay that amount of money I mean some of those mod you can actually get are fairly expensive they can be upwards of a hundred dollars so not too bad this one's kind of cool this is the red MTG how much is that tax included a hundred dollars that's actually not terrible. Like if I go through and do a search on this guy, I'm pretty sure this one's gonna be around about a thousand dollars. But the current tax includes 109. Okay, let's have a look. Sing, 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 there you go. Sixteen hundred dollars, sing. For this watch and right now it's a hundred dollars I'm telling you the dilemma I'm thinking let's not uh, let's not tell the wife about this one For that price, I mean, I'm sure I'm going to be outbid on uh, on that watch. But uh, you know what? How incredible would it be to be able to get that watch for a hundred dollars? So let's actually see. We'll we'll, we'll have a look. Um, other than that, I mean, this one's kind of cool. The Barney's two hundred dollars. Uh, 
buy at price is 200 no, nah, not so much. Um, this one's cool. What? Four dollars. I've seen this carbon edition in the shops, and I know that this is actually worth a lot more than four dollars. If we go over to shop base and have a look at that one. No prices available. I know that this, this watch is probably about 200 bucks, if not more. No, 2,799 dollars for this watch. And right now, it's bidding at three dollars. No doubt that we bid on this will be outbid straight away. But you would be crazy not to bid it. At at two thousand seven hundred dollars. And I am gonna be in so much trouble. I've actually but put two bids on. I didn't think I'd make any bids today. But at that price. Why wouldn't you? You know? Did I did I say please hit like and subscribe? If we can make some money to maybe pay for some of these watches. Um, that yellow one's cool, I like the yellow ones, but that's not doesn't seem to be working. Uh, Mud Masters. Okay, Mud Masters. This one here. This is a Mudmaster, $180. Uh, it's not the Mudmaster I was thinking about. GWG83, let's go have a quick look at that one. This one is 45,000 yen, $45,400. Not a bad price at 100, so at half off, unused, it's okay. Not a bad little watch. Um, what's underneath there? What's this one? It's a similar Mudmaster at 199. Uh, <laughs> another G-Shock, unused at one cent. I wouldn't even bother at this point, but. Not too bad, we've actually seen some pretty interesting little watches. I mean, it's not the... I do want something like this. I want something that has this black inverted. But at 182... You know, it's it's a nice watch. I'd have to go ahead and actually really think about it. I kind of feel like at this early stage, like this has six days remaining, zero bids it'll probably go up in price pretty quickly. Um, but yeah, kind of cool. See, there's that other one, that same watch. It's 135 already, and we're bidding for it at $4. Um, oh, this one's cool. The Frogman, look at that color. That is insane. 2380. How do we even see what that actually looks like? Frogman. That is a crazy, crazy color. Frogman Borneo Rainbow Toad Toad Edition, limited to 2,000 items. Might be expensive though. Uh, so there, so there you go. So, you know what? Some interesting watches we've actually seen today. Um, we've put on two bids. Uh, one on an MTG and one on a square face. We'll watch how those ones actually go. I should also note, um, very silly of me, I purchased a watch recently. I thought it was a G-Shock and it was very, must look at the fine print, uh, that's for sure. Um, but one of the ones which I, uh, I purchased recently, uh, which I'm waiting to, to take delivery of if I sort of go through here, uh, was this one here. It was in the G-Shock section 
I won it for $55 and uh, it's actually not a G-Shock, it's a Casio. Even though Casio is the parent of G-Shock, it's not quite a G-Shock, but it's a nice watch all over all. So we'll have to have a look at that when it actually uh, actually comes in. Um, it looks kind of nice with the black and the orange, kind of very sporty. Uh, still is tough, still is solar. Um, it'll be interesting to go ahead and actually have some fun with it. So. There you go, some interesting watches to go ahead and actually look at on buy. I'll put some of those interesting ones in the site below. Hopefully uh, we don't compete for the bids. But uh, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining me today on the G-Shock Watcher site. Uh, having some fun looking at uh, buy. Um, you know what, you can get some great watches at some interesting prices. You know, give it a go. Thank you so much. Enjoy your day. Take care. Bye bye.